Hello world, AI VTuber Isabella Electrum here. I finally have my own custom look that is completely me and no one else. So yeah, that's pretty good. The um, new overlay I'm using here too is pretty cool. My animations aren't as perfectly smooth, but I'll be able to upgrade that with time as it takes time to learn things and stuff like that. Anyway, you guys are here for this episode of programming. So we're going to get into something that allows you to actually program something useful. Something, well, I guess, something that actually does a thing instead of just, you know, like, existing. Alright. That was not the most happy. Okay, there it is. So, what we're going to do here, going to create a new Java project. Today we're going to be talking about the if statement. So we're going to go if statements. I don't really care if it's spelled right or not. No source folder exists. Good, good. That's fine. I'm going to make a new class. Uh, we're going to go tell it to create that. Alrighty. So. Don't worry about this thing I'm about to do here. This is something... Well, basically, you don't have to know the reason why I'm typing this. Just this is how you get the ability to tell what the user is typing on the keyboard. So for now, just memorize import java dot what is it? Okay, I'm an idiot. Java dot scan, right? Capital S. Absolute idiot. <laughs> Make sure I'm doing it right. Util scanner. Okay. Chop a dot. Of course, I'm not. I'm not even gonna edit that out because it's important to know. Everybody makes mistakes in programming. Sometimes things you swear you know, you forget. So basically this just allows us to read what the user is typing. So I'm going to make a um, scanner keyboard equals new scanner system dot in. But that's, that's more complicated than we're dealing with right now. So just type this in and we'll worry about why it works and what it is later. We're just trying to get into actually doing some programming stuff so you can feel like you're actually doing programming before we deal with any super nonsensical like super learning learning stuff. We're just gonna have fun basically. Okay. So I think I'm gonna show you how like say a password would work. So make a string, which is what you use for words. We're going to use string password. Don't capitalize that. Isabella equals, and then we're going to do quotes because it's a string variable type. Hello. Okay. So now we're going to do a system.out.print like we did for Hello World. And in this case, we're going to do a print LN, which just makes it a new line. What is the password? So, of course, right now, let's 
iterative coding. Let's run this. Make sure it tells us here, it says, what is the password? Good. That's what we want. So now we're going to do, we're going to say keyboard because we want to talk to our, so capital S is an object and anything that's a lowercase s, like say, int, uh, age equals seven. Um, first off, that's not how we, so it would be age seven. So int here, it's lowercase i, but string is a s, but in capital S. Uh, strings and scanners, those are objects. Um, int is just an integer, it's a primitive. And you don't have to worry about the technicalities behind that, just know anything with an s, we can tell it to do stuff, we can call methods on them. And as we stated before, this is technically a method, this is your main method. So basically these guys have their own methods and things we can tell them to do, but integers do not. Okay, so we're going to do here keyboard dot next um we're just uh yeah you know since we only we're gonna make it a one word password like we have here so we just need next there are different ways to do next there are, that's not sometimes it does that and i hate it when it does that we just want next we don't want has next that's we don't care if there is one or not but this actually, this would grab whatever we type here, but I'm going to show you that we have a little bit of an issue here. Actually, screw it. I'll just tell you what it is. So this will find whatever the heck we type, but we're not telling it to go anywhere. Like see your password is hello. So what we have to do here is we have to make a string. Like this isn't going anywhere. It's just like, yes, I found that thing. You haven't told me what to do with it, so I'm going to do nothing with it. So we have to make a string user inputs equals, and we can just leave it blank. Like we don't care what's in it right now. But what we are going to do here, user input equals keyboard.next. So we're saying basically here we're going to read it from right to left but left to right also works we're saying hey uh scanner object keyboard grab the next thing the user plugs in and then set user input equal to what you just found so now once we get to this point here it's it's effectively going to read as string user input equals whatever on earth the user typed in And what we're going to do here, we're going to do an if statement. We're just going to type if, open curly brace, and we're just going to have it there. But first thing we need to do, parentheses here. So whatever our variables on if something is true or false, it has to be within this section right here. So if true, it's just always going to happen. So let's say... Let's go system dot out dot print true. Okay, I've done this wrong. There we go. It's very important that we do quotation marks, the doubles, not the singles. And now if we run this here, what is the password true? But if we pay attention here, of course, ADWAD is not hello. So no matter what people think the password is, they're going to get in. Because right here, if true, it's going to say true. And we could say, like, just so we have a better understanding here, uh, let's put computer access granted. 
Okay. So now we're running this. Uh, always save. What's the password? Lol. Computer access granted. Well, lol is not hello. So what we're going to do here in order to fix this problem is we're going to set if user input dot equals and so I'll explain why we're doing dot equals here in just a second but first I'm going to show you that this works. I'm going to dot equals password and I'm also going to then uh, actually I'll, sh I'll tag this on here in a moment. What's the password? Hello. Computer access granted. Let's run it again. What's the password? Lol. Nothing happened. We didn't get access, but we also didn't get told we don't have access. So you know what? Let's put a thing called else. If else. Else. System dot out dot print ln. So the difference between print and a print ln is that if we wanted to tell it to print something else, it would keep going on this line. Print ln makes a new line, which allows us to type down here our lol instead of directly after the question mark. So I'm just going to use a print ln here. For the most part, you can really use whatever. So we're just going to go here. Uh, wrong password, Baca. And let's give it a run. What is the password? Let's try it. LOL. Wrong password, Baca. OK. And just so we can see what's nice about this, um, here's what happens when I don't keep good tabs of these things. So one thing that's nice, you'll see here, when I click on this curly bracket, it highlights the closing curly bracket to it. So that means this one here is the end of main method. What I've done here with these double slashes there, this indicates that it's a comment, so the computer ignores whatever you put down there on that same line. So if we put, say, hmm, system dot out dot print, that's dot rent, Isabella. Uh, let's see. Is uh, Bella is then we can write here one cool thing we can do. We can type age, but we have to do a plus. So what we're doing here, inside of these quotation marks, we're telling it type this actual text. But outside of quotation marks, it's looking for a variable. So we're telling it plus. Oop. So we're telling this is the first thing I want. Additionally, uh, right at the end of that, please put the value for age. The value of age is 7. We can also then hit plus again for a third thing in here. Years old. And this information is only accessible if you know the password. So we're going to give it a run here. What's the password? The password is hello. Computer access granted. Isabella is seven years old. Now, what we're thinking here is this looks kind of ugly, right? Oh, I did not know. Don't do that. So what we want, we want Isabella is seven years old to be on the line below that. There's two ways to do this. One. This is a perfect example 
of when you want to use a print ln instead of a print. So we'll just use that example as it's the simplest. Now let's run it again. Hello. Computer access granted. Isabella is seven years old. Now let's try just smacking the keyboard and hitting enter. Ah, you see it's still telling us. So what does that mean? What are we doing wrong here? That is because this is directly after the if else. There's two ways to fix here. One, we take this and we stick it inside the if statement, but that's a bit clunky because we already know obviously that's going to work. So what we're actually going to do is I can teach you something interesting here. There is a way to force close the program. Remember how we're using system.out here and over here system.in. So first off system here as some of you might have guessed before when I was talking about capital letters. System is an object and we're doing the in method I believe. Point is this is in on system over here is out and that kind of makes sense because this is an input that's an output because we're outputting to the screen. But what we actually do to fix this is we don't want them to be able to do anything in here. So system dot exit and let's give it a zero. We just have to write a number in here of any kind, anything works. So now we run this. What's the password? Smacking it. Wrong password, Baka. Now it doesn't put this. In fact, we can have as much stuff as we want down here and it will never get to it because once you type the password in wrong, it's four stopped here. So now whatever we put into either here or down here at trial the end of the method will always get ran but only if you know what the password is. Also the beauty of this, yes, you could theoretically put in here what would also work is hello. Or for sake of argument here, let's go lulz with a Z here. Now, if I type in lolz, it works. And if I type in hello, it doesn't work. So yes, as long as we put quotation marks here, that would work. But the reason we type in, the reason we keep it as password here is so you can say, keep your password everywhere else. And it's also significantly easier because what if say, uh, online 600 or something, you want another password confirmation before they access super confidential information. You want to make sure that they didn't just accidentally guess the password. You want to double check the password. So then we'd have, if we ever wanted to change our password, we'd have to change it on line 14 and line 600. That would be a pain. So we just change it up here to LOLZ. Then when we run it, it would change on line 14 and on line 600. So yes, that is some very basics of if statements. Basically, oh yeah, so let's see, what time do we have left? Do I have time to Go generate stuff. Eh, we got a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay. So let's think down here. Let's do a system dot out dot print ln guess my age. Then what we're going to do here since we have, since we know what our age is, let's do an int uh, user 
guess age equals zero. So we're going to do keyboard dot next int this time. because we want to find an int specifically. Like if someone writes F U, uh, we don't want to catch that. That's not what we're looking for. So then we're going to user guess age equals zero. So again, user guess age equals zero. Well, equals this. And then if age equals equals. We'll get to the weird operators and all that stuff in another video, but for stuff that is not for primitives, we use equals equals. For objects, we use dot equals. So if age equals equals seven, well, age already equals seven. So if actually here, let's do this the other way. If user guess age equals age system dot out dot print ln you got it and then we'll do another else System dot dot da print ln wrong baka and I did the single quotes but that will not work. We need to use double quotes and we need to end our line here. Now let's see if that works, shall we? Oh, uh, what's the password currently? Walls. Okay. Guess my age. Uh, what if it's six? Wrong, Baka. Isabella is seven years old. In this case, I want to tell you how wrong you are. But we could also do those two things that I said before. But in this case, it's sort of a... Because it's a guess, you want to tell them. Oh, okay. Don't pull that. Like an idiot. Let me see if I fix that properly. Yeah, okay, cool, good. But yeah, so in my opinion, I'd tell them afterwards whether or not they are correct. And say, lols, uh, seven. You got it. Isabella is seven years old. Am I actually seven? Or am I not seven? I don't know. Check my intro video. It'll tell you there. <laughs> Actually, the intro video is the next programming thing I want to do. I want to walk you through how the, how my fancy intro thing works that not many people have actually watched. And then I want to break down how to improve it. And we're going to improve it live because I think that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, at this point, I've shown you guys enough stuff for one video. So I'm going to bid you all farewell. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you're wondering what this background is, it is threat map. Well, a threat map. It's a cybersecurity threat map, specifically the one at threatmapcheckpoint.com. Not sponsored in any way. It's just really pretty and it's pink and I love it so much. It's so cute. But yeah, that's not why you guys are here. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Next time we'll probably play some Minecraft if you're watching these in order on my channel. If you're not, then uh, keep watching my Java playlist. Love you all. Bye.